Tacos are not for a kitty. Hey guys, I'm super excited today because I got Pizza Hut. Actually, the Pizza Hut is a lie. For some reason, a uh, Grubhub delivery always comes in a Pizza Hut bag here. I don't know why. I don't even know where there's a Pizza Hut around here. Super far away. Um, but I do have something amazing called Taco Bell. Oh wow, they, um, they wrote my real human name on the bag so I can only show you one side of it. Gotta be careful, protect myself. They gave me a whole bunch of sauces of which I will use a few but save the rest for other dishes. And guys, oh this is exciting. So, I was taking my walk today, I walked like 13 miles because I wanted to have them calories in my my budget to go hard. And I got on my phone while I was walking and um, I was kind of thinking about trying the uh, the new international stuff from McDonald's where they brought in the international menu items to the US market and you get like the new chicken sandwich and new fries and new parfait. But I just couldn't get excited about it. Like, I was like, oh, it's a chicken sandwich with a slice of tomato, which first off, a slice of tomato from McDonald's is poopy. And mozzarella, which mozzarella from McDonald's is also gonna be poopy. Mozzarella is a cheese that can be delicious and wonderful, but when you get to like the low end, like cheap mozzarella, it's just, it's not even worth it. Like you gotta have at least medium to high end mozzarella for it to be good. It's, I feel like that's just the truth. But I, then I went to Taco Bell uh, website. I was like, well, you know, what's Taco Bell doing? Anything new? And they luckily have a section called new. And there's something called the triple double crunch wrap, which isn't that a basketball thing, triple double? Uh, F'd around and got a triple double. Today was a good day. But uh, I think in this case, it refers to the fact that it's a three layer uh, crunch wrap with double layer of beef. I think that's what it means. And so I got it in these like Crave box. The Crave boxes are amazing. We don't need to have the sauce up here. Cause the Crave box comes with like sides and stuff and you can customize it. Like, like by default, it comes with a cinnamon twist. I don't want cinnamon twists. I want chips and nachos. And you can switch that out for free. Great. And then like with the crunch wrap, it came with um, crunchy taco. Oh, that one's kind of broken, so I won't unwrap it completely. I don't want it to fall apart. And the crunch wrap itself. But I didn't stop there. I got another box. This is my favorite box. And they're like $5 each, which is just amazing for the amount of food you get. Can't get it open. I got the Chalupa box, which the Chalupa box I think is the best deal they have. Again, more chippies, more nacho cheese, a like burrito. Forgot what kind of burrito. A Chalupa, and another crunchy taco. Holy crap! There's a lot of food. Like not even mentioning, guys, it comes with a drink for each box. Uh, I gave a pink lemonade to Sammy Girl, and this is a Diet Pepsi, because you know. I'm watching my weight. Like, holy cow, look, look at all this food, guys. I am just amazed. Let's get some of this cheesiness just on these chips. Fantastic. I'm tempted just to dive into this chalupa, but I know the, the new item that we're really here for is Mm, this thick girl. Look at that triple layer. Let's give her an unfold. Let's undress her a little bit. Okay. Um, I was ready to be like, mm, she's thick, but uh, she she's skinny. Mm, this does not look like what it looks like in the advertisement. I mean, that's okay, but 
I feel a little bit lied to. I don't know. It's, it feels like, you know, you got on Tinder and somebody sent you a picture of their butt and it was all big and you're like, oh, show what he got. <laughs> For days. But mm, not really. I mean, still probably going to taste good. But come on, Taco Bell. Don't, you know, don't tell me a dick when, when it ain't. But it's fine. There's, the different taco types are perfectly acceptable. Because the flavor is there. It's so good. I do wish they used like a more substantial tostada for the uh, the layers in here so it didn't get as quite as mushy and you could get some crunch in there. But for the price, it's amazing. Um, I'm thinking of like the tostadas I used on my, uh, like what if Taco Bell made a burger video. But that might even be too much, too crunchy for this. But this is just a little soft, but oh man, the flavor is great. Cheese is great. Taco Bell seasoned beef. Is this hard to beat? A little bit spicy. A little bit cumin-y, a little bit oniony, a little bit garlicky. A little bit salty. Probably a little bit salty, but it's all you need. Here we get our crunch from here. There we go. Whole package. Boy, is it a lot of food. There's a reason Taco Bell is like my favorite fast food. I think if you bought this in restaurant, it would cost you It is four ninety nine times two. It'd be like nine ninety eight plus tax. Of course when you order it on Grubhub, they each cost like six dollars something, so it ends up being twelve dollars something, plus all the fees for delivery and the tip. Uh, it's twenty four dollars. But still twenty four dollars for this amount of food isn't bad, even though it's more than twice what you would pay to get it in a Taco Bell. So if you're thinking of going to Taco Bell, it's even a more amazing deal. I just got it delivered because a guy on an electric bike can get it to my house faster than I can walking, so the food will be warmer and less soggy. Trap is heaven sent. Get this cheese out. Their nacho cheese is like seasoned too. You can't really, you don't see any seasonings in it, but you can definitely taste the pepper, the chili pepper in there. Sure, their magical food chemists make it happen. I want to go to the Taco Bell Innovation Kitchen. That'd be fun. Mm. What next? I gotta go. I gotta go with the Chalupa guys. The Chalupa. I remember when they first introduced this, like when I was in high school. In this like fried gordita shell here, it's just I fell in love with it because of the texture. dropping tomatoes in my crotch. Oops. The texture of the fried shell is just amazing. It's the same ingredients as in everything else, but it's a perfect package. For a while they had um, all the different flavors with different sauces. I always got the, the Baja chicken was my favorite. They don't do that anymore. 
that's okay. Um, you can still flavor it with the hot sauces, some if I can find them. Let's just use what I grabbed. I grabbed a hot one. This juice is hot. I could pull the actual hot sauce out of the fridge, but no need. Let's just use what Taco Bell gave us. That's good. Ooh. The fried shell is very rich. Really, what's wrong with that? Oh my. We've made all kinds of a mess right now. I had to get something to drink. Where'd I straw at? Guys, the most exciting thing happened. So, the Sammy girl told me that she got me a gift. Kind of. On accident. She said she'd been pricing something out online. And she tried to like add it to the cart to see what the shipping was. But I guess she had like one click ordering turned on. And her payment info was saved on the site. So the order just went through and she was like, you know what? Might as well. She handed out, she's like, it's gonna be delivered next week. Wouldn't tell me what it was. Finally today she comes in the door. She's carrying this huge box. Mm, we're getting into this burrito, look at this. Bean, meat and cheese is heaven, creamy heaven. She comes in carrying this huge box, like as big as her. I'm so confused. And I see the label on it. Gold Belly. It's that website where you can like order food from specialty places all around America. And I get so excited because I know exactly what it is. Sammy Girl got us Pro Bell Bites and Toasted Raviolis from Emo's in St. Louis. Uh, we just love toasted ravioli so much that you can't really get them in New York City. Uh, now we have two like giant bags of them. I'm so excited. Let me show you. We have two bags this size, and then we have two bags of Provel bites. Oh my god. So be ready, guys. There's gonna be a toasted ravioli video in the future. Why did Taco Bell ever try to do fries? Like these chips are great. Just put your nacho cheese, put whatever you want, put beef, put chicken, just put it on the chips. You don't need to do like loaded nacho fries. That's, then you just get soggy fries. Crunchy, delicious chips are great. And these are like, very air pockety, very crunchy, very substantial. They hold up the sauce. They're great in delivery. I don't need no fries, Taco Bell. That's not your game. God, nobody does good fries anymore either. Like McDonald's fries can be good. For me, I often end up getting them undercooked somehow. Um, Burger King fries are trash. Arby's curly fries are good. Um, Hardee's slash Carl's Jr.'s curly fries are good. 
I haven't had checkers fries in five years, so I can't say. That's about all I know off the top of my head. I wonder if Wendy's are good. I need to do a Wendy's video. There's a Wendy's by the park that I want to go eat a bunch of stuff at and do a Wendy's picnic video. Mainly because of their spicy chicken. As I remember when I was in college. We would drive to the Wendy's by the Columbia Mall and get spicy chicken sandwiches as our treat. We would all pile into my friend's like two door pickup truck and go down there. And then like go over to Barnes and Noble or something. Or Spencer's Gifts. I can't believe I'm eating this much. Oh, I lost a town. I can't believe it. That was so good. It was Taco Bell. What are other fast food restaurants even doing? I mean, at least the Impossible Burger is good. And the Quarter Pounder patties at um, McDonald's are good, but literally like the regular McDonald's patty, the regular Burger King patty, it's all trash. Are Wendy's patties good? I don't know. Ooh. I mean, I might as well finish now. I thought I wasn't going to, but... I've already burned 3,000 calories today. This is somewhere between two and 3,000 calories total, so I'm in a safe zone. I'll probably work out some more after this. Mm. Here's a big mistake I made. Saving the crunchy tacos for last. Why did I do this amateur hour? Because I everything else was more exciting. So I ate everything else first, but that just made the ta crunchy tacos get worse. As they got kind of sogged up. They're so good. Yes. They're not in their prime. That's okay, you aged gracefully. Crunchy Taco, don't feel ashamed. There's nothing wrong with growing old, says the person who is growing old. In a vain attempt to feel okay about themselves. Himself. Where are my sauces? Oh, here we go. Mild. I, I don't know if I've even tried the mild one. The first one seemed a little bit bland. Let's put a sauce in here. Ooh, that's very soggy. It's a soggy boy. No, it's probably where it should hold it together. Thank you for blessing me, Taco Bell. I feel privileged to be a part of this meal. Mm. Blessed by this food. And I will continue to be your unpaid brand ambassador. Ambrachabur? 
unpaid brand ambassador because I love it. That's what you get for being a good restaurant. For good food. And good deals. See Burger King? This is how it should be done. Burger King keeps wanting to play around. Yeah, you get treated. It's like they just want to play around. And Taco Bell always brings their A game. And shows me respect, so I show them respect. So I might as well get through it. <clears throat> I mean, I hope they actually got me diet. Oh shit, just, it doesn't say diet on the thing. Fuck. No, it's okay. Might as well. Okay, right, bye guys. I, I love you so much. I love the triple double so much even though it was a little bit of a skinny hoe but that's all right you know we accept all types i'll eat anything thick or thin